G'day, Nigel from McGill Music here. Today, I want to tell you about the saxophone solo in the Lady Gaga song, Edge of Glory. It's absolutely brilliant. And sadly, uh, Clarence Clemens, who played the solo, he's no longer with us, uh, which is a shame because Clarence Clemens is an absolute legend in the rock sax world. And if you haven't heard of him, you've got to check him out. Actually, chances are you have heard of him because he's played on so many recordings and his sound is absolutely mega. So you've got to check him out. So anyway, uh, let's talk about the solo for uh, Edge of Glory. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. First thing I'd suggest you do is go along to mcgillmusic.com and download the PDF for this lesson. I've actually done a transcription of the solo, and so you can download that and use it as a bit of a guide when you're working through the lesson today. So, Edge of Glory by Lady Gaga. Now, when Clarence Clemens played over this solo, uh, he kind of basically used a B pentatonic scale. And what that means is a, it's a scale that's only got five notes in it, and it's a great scale to use when you're playing over rock stuff because the sounds just really work. Here are the notes anyway to get you started. So it's B, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. Simple as that. B, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. Now we're in the key of B, uh, which you probably already know has got five sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. So it's a bit of a tricky key, and that's why we've got all the sharp keys in this um, B pentatonic scale. So anyway, this is what it sounds like. Now, of course, the scale extends either way, all the way up as high as you want to go, and down as low as you want to go, um, but those are the basic building blocks. Okay, so the solo. Now on the Lady Gaga track, it starts at about three minutes in. And the first little bit's kind of like a warm up to the solo, just getting you ready. And uh, the first section of that sounds like this. So the notes, it's pretty simple really. Two sections. The first bit starts on E, up to an F sharp with a bit of a scoop. Wah, wah. And then it goes B, C sharp, D, D, F sharp, F sharp. So one more time. E, F sharp, F sharp. And then B, C sharp, D sharp, D sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Okay? And again, that phrase sounds like this. <laughs> Remember the way we do those scoops is just by relaxing the jaw, wah wah, and doing that sort of movement with it. Okay, so the second bit goes like this: F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, with a scoop up to the C sharp again, and then up to D sharp, and then down to the B, and then G sharp B. Okay, so it sounds like this. <laughs> Then, drums start, the band kicks off, and we're into the proper solo. So the first section of the solo sounds like this. Okay, and those notes, F sharp, G sharp, B, B again, and then down to G sharp with a bit of a fall off at the end of it. Now Clarence Clemens got this big meaty sound, and he kind of, he does a lot of growling into the saxophone, and lots of falls off and scoops up. So you really need to get the recording and listen to it and try and copy all the little shapes that he makes in the sound because that's really what gives it its character. Okay, so F sharp, G sharp, B, B, G sharp. And again, sounds like this. Okay, next bit, kind of the same. F sharp, G sharp, B, and then we've got D sharps on the side here. D sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, B, G sharp, F sharp. Okay, so one more time. F sharp, G sharp, B, and then D sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, B, G sharp, F sharp. Let's try that. Okay, he does two more Bs at the end of that phrase. So I'll put those two Bs at the end, and we'll do those two phrases together. Here it goes, drums. Okay, now 
comes the tricky bit, okay? He starts to get up pretty high here. There's three notes in a row here. The first one is E. I use a front E because I find that's a bit easier. You probably know that one anyway. Okay, so like that. Um, so it's using your front F key. It's like a G, but with your first finger, your index finger, you go up onto this front F key. And that's high E, and then high F, and then high F sharp. Okay, pretty high. And he holds that one for a couple of bars. So it goes like this. something like that okay and then the next bit it does lots of repeated D sharps ba 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 up to F sharp okay so let's go from the E F F sharp and then D sharp D sharp D sharp D sharp D sharp F sharp here it goes And so the next bit, D sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, B, 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 G sharp. And then repeats that, B, 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 G sharp, B, 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 D sharp, B, D sharp, B. That's a long phrase, that one, isn't it? So I'll do it again, right? So we've done uh, D sharp, ba, 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 up to F sharp. Then it's D sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, B, 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 G sharp, B, 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 G sharp. B, 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 D sharp, B, D sharp, B. Sounds like this, okay? So I go from the E, F, F sharp. And that's kind of the whole solo. So, um... I'll play it for the whole, all the way through in a minute, but first of all, just go back to that growling thing I mentioned about. So if you're not familiar with growling, uh, basically it's really simple. There's, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Uh, the first way is to actually use your voice. So when you're playing a note, you also kind of sing through the saxophone as well, and that gives it that, that growly kind of sound. So for example, if I'm playing a high B, and I, and I sing through it as well, like this, ooh, gives it that kind of growly sound Ooh, as well as playing. The other way you can do it is to actually roll your tongue. So that's kind of like going like that when you're playing. Okay, and it sounds like this. And lots of those 80, 80s um, saxophone players did that. Like the, uh, the solo off um, One Step Beyond, things like that. It's that kind of 80s sound. So Clarence Clemens, anyway, he uses his voice and sings through the saxophone when he plays, and that's how you get that growly thing. Okay, so I'll quickly play through the whole thing for you. If you've got your uh, transcription, grab that out and try playing along. Here we go. This is from where the drums start and the band kicks off in the main solo. Here we go. <laughs> So there you go, that's the sax solo by Clarence Clemens on Edge of Glory. Brilliant. There's another bit at the end as well, uh, and I've transcribed that, and I'll leave you to try and work that one out yourself, okay? Good luck with that, and do check out the other lessons at mcgillmusic.com. There's loads of other stuff on there, and good luck with your saxophone journey.